guys, welcome to this edition of our camper trailer build. And today we've got another update video of where we are. And it's starting to come together. Um, a lot of small detail work, so that takes time, but I'm really happy with where it's going. So let's get into it and have a look at what we've done. So with the 240 volt, that's basically finished. I haven't done the ground wire to the chassis yet. However, I've done all the runs and GPOs. So we've got the GPO in the galley that we had from last week. I've installed a GPO in the cabin on the side frame of the camper, and that feeds directly through this bulkhead. So it's a nice short run. The side effect of that was we ended up with I figured I'd needed a metre cable, um, I've bought a half metre cable so I just need to replace that and this will tidy all this mess up. With the CMS system you just buy double or triple adapters. This is a triple adapter, it's an off the shelf part, it's meant for this system. Um, it feeds from the circuit breaker above, one feed goes to the galley GPO, one of the wires feeds go to the interior GPO and the upper feed goes up into the roof cavity for the air conditioning. Um, that's about it. I like simple. I've also mounted up the 12 volt, the twin 12 volt USBs. Um, it's got a double, a double 2.1 amp on that side. And on this side, it's got um, a fridge connection. But we can change that. It's mainly for the, the packaging you want. And it's got a voltage meter in the middle. Um, that's about it in here for this week. Let's go inside. Now in the cabin, I've had two of the, the bags turn up from Drifter. Really happy with those. And they, they will fit as such and we've still got the spaces for the uh, toiletry bags. Now on the inside we've installed a gas lift on both doors. As you can see it lifts the door up and holds it open and the same on this side. I think you all agree that's quite good. This is the uh, 240 volt for the air conditioner that I've got to feed up through the, uh, the battens to, to the air conditioner. But that's all looking quite good, I'm very happy with that. Um, I've also installed two rooting lights. Now I was after a couple of rooting lights that were um, a little bit modern and these Nava versions fit the bill. So they twist that way and you can also twist the globe. They're 12 volt, they've got an on and off switch underneath and there's two of them fitted. So that's the start of our interior fit out. So the big job this week was to not only make the supports for the air conditioner, but was to decide where it was going. So trying to get as much weight forward as we can um, and positioning it in the cab so that when we put the ducting cover on inside, it's not covered by any of the doors or the like. So with the support for this, I've made the H-frame out of the same tim hardwood as we've made the rest of the spars out of and i've used a 30 by 30 millimeter galvanized um, tube to sandwich on this as you can see i've put some m10 bolts through it on either side of the uh, ducting hole and i've bolted the spars through as we normally would bolted and glued those and at the ends of the metal spars I found some inserts that will take 500 kilos each and they just hammer into the ends of the the tube and um, have a 12 millimeter uh, nut inserted into them so what, what I'll do is I'll I'll drill through here and, ins and insert some high tensile 12 meter, millimeter bolts and flush flush finish them so that when we put the side, the, um, side panels on it doesn't um, stick out. So that's actually pretty good and if you can see we can rock this whole camper without any movement at all. It's as solid as so that's not going anywhere. Whilst we're at it I also drilled the holes 
through here for the cabling that runs the air conditioner and that will snake back through through the roof section and you can see it, it coming out of the bulkhead there. So again, as short a run as I can get without disturbing too, too much of the uh, roof spars. So that's the air conditioning unit sorted. What I've done on the inside is to, with my bad welding, um, weld some captive nuts onto, onto a piece of flat section and screw that into the front bulkhead so that when we take this fridge box off we can just screw back into, bolt back into those captive nuts. And when we slide this section back down again that's all hidden from view. So as you can see it's all coming together quite well. Slowly but surely I'm hoping over the next work to be able to get the cabling that I need done at the front so getting these wired and back and then we can start finishing off the inside. So you guys have basically caught up to where I am. <laughs> the H-Frame on the air conditioner took ages to do the product development on it. Didn't take long to put together. However, deciding on what materials to use and how best to use it, because I found with a lot of the stuff I was looking at, you could get a little bit of flex out of it. With, with that, there was none at all. And on the roof, you can tell it's as solid as a rock. And on the rough roads that I'm planning to use this on, I don't want any fluttering of that top unit on that roof. So yeah, very chuffed with how that's going. Apart from that, fairly slow going, but you can start to see things coming together. Um, best not to rush this type of thing if you want a quality camper and I do want a quality camper and I think it's turning out quite nicely. So that's it for today guys. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time. Bye now.